Hi, this is Mark from Productive Computing, and we're excited about the new Outlook manipulator changes, so much so that we thought we'd bring them to you in the form of a video. Stay tuned. All right, so I'm excited today to talk to you about the Outlook manipulator and some of the changes. This refers to version 7.0.2. So this first new feature is particularly exciting because you can actually now attach documents directly from a container field. You don't have to necessarily reference those attachments from your traditional hard drive or from a file path. You still have that option, but in addition to that option, you can pull attachments directly from a FileMaker container, which gives you some nice capability. Let's go take a look at that one right now. Okay, here I have the Outlook manipulator demo, and I've already authenticated with Outlook. Let's quickly create a new email here in FileMaker and prepare to send that using Outlook with this new feature. All right, I'll attach a PDF that I happen to have here on my desktop. And I'll send it using the long method. Sent successfully. Let's go check that out in my sent folder. There's the attachment and the email. Okay, the next feature is that we added the function to delete one member from a group list. So as you may know, you can create group objects or group lists in Outlook and we have currently the capability of adding members. We didn't have the ability to delete a member from a specific group or a distribution list. We can now do that. The third feature here is added get image and set image functions for picture fields. This has to do with contacts. Let's go take a look at that. So here in the Outlook Manipulator demo, I've created a new FileMaker record called Sarah Smith, and I've put a picture in there of Sarah, and I'd like to add this record and this image into Outlook. Let's do that now. So you can see here, Sarah has been added to Outlook in my contacts. Likewise, if I want to import these contacts back into FileMaker, including their image, I can do that as well, like so. And there's the picture. We added some abilities to access the internal ID for embedded images. So when you have an embedded image within your email, we can determine the ID for that embedded image so that you could potentially reproduce that email, text, and images all in FileMaker. Okay, another feature we added is the ability to send meeting cancellations to attendees when canceling a meeting. Now, we already had the ability to send an invitation type event, but we did not have the ability to cancel that event on a subsequent request. Now the plugin can do that. We also fixed an issue where saving an email record without sending it would not resolve the recipient email address. Now, we have an updated Mac template. Uh, for those of you who don't know about the Mac template, it looks like this. And it enables you, as a Mac developer, to program directly on your Macintosh. And all the script steps will adhere to making available all the plugin functions directly in that environment. Now, obviously, the actual moving of data back and forth only happens on Windows, because that's where the Outlook compatibility is. You could do all your programming on a Mac and from a Mac. And then finally, we updated the demo file to reflect these new changes so that you can take advantage of them. Well, we hope you found this product update useful, and we appreciate your interest and support. Feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel or follow us on Twitter, Facebook, or LinkedIn for more updates like this. Thanks for watching.